What's up, boxing fans? This is Andy here to do another boxing analysis. This analysis is between uh, Vani's Matarosin versus uh, Erislandi Lara. Okay, for people that don't know who he is, Vani's Matarosin, uh, he's a six foot guy, very tall for a 154 pound division. Um, you know, he's 26 years old, Armenian born. The guy has really good skills. In the ring, he's ranked number one contender in the WBC. He's uh, number nine light middleweight on BoxRec.com. And he's number three light middleweight, meaning super welterweight by uh, the Ring Magazine. So the guy, he has a lot of power. He's very long. He uses his reach a lot. 73-inch reach. Um, they call him the Nightmare. The guy is really, really good. Like I say, he is uh, still undefeated. Uh, been tested before. He's 30. He has 32 wins, 20 by knockout. Um, you know, Armenian versus Cuba. Cuba versus Armenia is gonna be really, really good. And you know, uh, when they go head to head, it's gonna be it's gonna be something special. Uh, you know, Vani Matarosa and he's fought. You know, uh, fought a couple people, not really big names that you would know. Uh, he fought uh, Sal Roman. If you're a boxing fan, you probably know who that is. Uh, he's fought, uh, I think, Bill, Billy Lyle. But those are not real big names or whatever. So I understand if you don't don't know them like that. But this is a big step for Vinny's Mata Rosen. Um, you know, him facing Erislan Di Lara is a big deal. So uh, Erislan Di Lara, he is something special. This guy is Cuban-born. Uh, guy that came over here to the United States he has really 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 good uh, boxing background the guy throws a lot of punches and bunches uh, he always you know he comes forward he jumps from side to side uses angles you know like I say he does a lot of boxing in the ring a whole lot of boxing in the ring um, I would like to see what he's gonna do against somebody that's the same height I think he's a little bit taller than uh, Laura Ivani's not the Rosen I'm talking about. And uh, somebody's going to stay in his chest all night. All all night long, he's going to stay in his chest. And uh, Arslani Laura, you know, he really wants to make an impressive statement. He's 29 years old. You know, uh, Southpaw, fast, seven, 17 wins. He only has one loss, and I don't really count that as a loss of Paul Williams, because I believe that he beat Paul the Punisher Williams. Hopefully you get better, Paul Williams. Uh, then you got um, uh, Laura, who's faced a whole lot of people. His Cuban background, when it comes to amateur fights, just like most Cubans, is great. He has a gold medal in the World Amateur Championships 2005 at the welterweight division. Gold in the Central American and Caribbean Games. And silver in Moscow 2005 at the World Cup, Boxing World Cup. The guy can really, really, really bang. So... I really see him just doing damage to Vani's. I see him beating him by using his pot shotting skills, throwing overhand lefts, throwing right hooks, just being very active but boxing in the same time. Because he knows Vani's Mata Rosen is a great fighter. And he can win this fight too. This is an even fight. In my eyes they're both undefeated even though you know Laura has one loss. Um you know Laura is like I say, he's muy rápido. He throws a lot of punches, uh, but but Mala Rosen, he's got Calderon's own. He got heart. He got a big big heart. He comes forward, throws a lot of punches. He can box as well. He uses jab, moves side to side. But we know who has the speed advantage, and it's Laura. And if I nine times out of, well eight times out of ten in boxing, if you have the speed advantage along with the footwork and the skills, you're gonna win. This it is what it is. So I got Laura winning by a 12 round decision I don't see him knocking out Vinus Matthew Rosen and moving up and facing the likes of a Canelo something big name Cotto uh, you never know even Trout like Trout somebody somebody big at 154 I see him facing um, so 154 is wide open it's so many great great boxers right now 154 you got Demetrius Andre up and coming but um, back to the fight at hand. 
I, I'm sorry, the better pedigree of boxer is Lara, not only amateur but but pro. He beat them. Uh, he, you know, had a draw with Carlos Molina, who was a great, great boxer. You had, uh, well, not great. He's a good boxer. Let me take that back. He beat Paul Williams, who was a very, very good boxer. Uh, even though they say he lost, but come on now, he hit him with overhand lefts all night long. Uh, Ronald Hearns knocked him out in one round, one minute and thirty-four seconds. Knocked him out, and that dude was like six-four, six-five. At 154, which is ridiculous. That's just nuts. And then you had um, what else? Then you had Freddie Hernandez, and you won a unanimous decision with him. Freddie Hernandez is a great, great boxer, made from uh, from Mexico. Very, very good skills. Very long. Hits very hard. Uh, a lot of heart too. So I'm telling you, the better pedigree, Laura. I'm going with Laura by uh, unanimous 12-round uh, decision. At the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's going to be a great night of boxing. Uh, I believe it's going to be November 10th. Uh, it's not, I think it is November, yeah, November 10th, 2012. Don't, don't miss it, guys. Very, very good fight. This fight is going to, like I said, this fight sets up the, the mega fight. You know, like I said, the Canelo. Maybe even Sergio Martin. Who knows? Cuba versus Argentina or Mexico versus Cuba. It's going to be something special. Um, like I said, Laura either by late or well, no early round knockout, one, two, three, or four round. He somehow hits Matarosa with something super, super big. Finds out he can hit him at will with his overhand left or his left uppercut overhand left, or he hits him with a right hook that he does not see. Like when Matarosa, you know, in his orthodox stance throws a jab, he counters that jab with the right hook. Yeah, boxing fans know what I'm talking about. You throw a slow jab. Let's say Monterosa throw a real slow jab. Uh, great counter puncher like Laura takes his time. Boom. Counter right hook to the chin. Maybe rocks him. Who knows. But if it's a early round knockout, it's because of that. Now Laura, he has an okay chin. I'm not going to say he has the best. He has an okay chin. Bonnie's Monterosa is on top of his game that night. Comes forward, throws a whole lot of punches. He can win this fight too. He throws 70, 80 punches per round, anyways. So if he can execute his game plan, he will win, and it will be by a middle round knockout. Somehow he catches him with something that uh, Laura did not see. Let's say he's letting his hands go, throwing right uppercuts, throwing straight right hands, and somehow he catches Laura in his uh, orthodox stance. He can win. I mean, who who knows? So like I said, you guys tell me what you think and. I mean, you got these guys are number three and number four right now in their division. At least, I mean, number four and number five in their division uh, for uh, you know the rankings, so to speak, for 154 pounds. And like I said, Las Vegas on HBO, don't miss it. So uh, like I said, I have Laura early round knockout, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the safe route and say he's gonna dominate. Well, not dominate, but look impressive. And show that he is his heart and his speed and his skill and his boxing skill throughout 12 rounds. And win by, I'll say, unanimous decision. I'll go with unanimous decision. So you guys tell me what you think in the comment section below. This is going to be a great night of boxing. and um, I mean, we, we, got, we got a whole lot of boxing to still cover. But this is just one of those fights I had to cover because... Uh, people don't know Vines Matherosian, but you will know him if you watch HBO on that Saturday. You know, do not miss it. So, um, I mean, who do you think is going to win? Do you think Matherosian's come forward style is going to win him the fight? Or do you feel that Laura pot shotting, um, having his great jab that he throws out there, that right jab, throwing four or five punch combinations? Because Laura, if he gets you hurt, He's going to try to end you. He's going to go after you. I've seen him do it time and time again. And his counterpunching mentality is amazing. His straight left hand is dangerous. I forgot to mention that throughout this video. bonnie has got a really strong straight right. But large straight left is, is his power and speed is amazing. So you guys will see on display that night. And he's trained by, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? They train Kermit Centron and a whole bunch of people. Yeah, Ronnie Shields. So... Ronnie Shields is a great trainer. You guys look him up. Look up Laura's highlights and look up Vani Matarosian's highlights. I like both fighters. I'm a fan of both. 
it's gonna be a great fight so let me know what you think Laura and 12 12 round unanimous decision peace